Well, breast MRI is another tool that we have to evaluate patients primarily for breast cancer. And not everyone needs one and not everyone will ever have to have one. It's a really nice test because it's very sensitive for detecting breast cancer, um, especially invasive breast cancer. And so we'll order it in, or recommend it in patients. There's a group of patients that are at high risk for developing breast cancer. And those patients, the American Cancer Society has actually recommended that they get screening with breast MRI and they've said patients with a 20 to 25 percent risk of developing breast cancer so that would be something you would want to discuss with your, re your referring physician or family physician am I at that high risk then we just recommend it as a screening tool um, otherwise we'll use it in patients that uh, ha maybe have a lump or a problem but we don't see anything on their mammogram or ultrasound we always start when we're working up a breast problem we always start with mammogram and then especially if the person's over age 30 and then uh, frequently they'll have an ultrasound but after we do the standard sort of workup if we're still wondering what's going on there still seems like there's something we feel but we don't really see it we might recommend an MRI in that situation women that have been diagnosed with breast cancer are one of the more common people that would get uh, an MRI because it can be very helpful for pre-surgical planning Occasionally, because the MR is very sensitive, sometimes they can find additional areas of cancer that need to be addressed, either in the same breast or in the opposite breast. It might give the surgeon a better idea of the extent of the breast cancer so they can plan their surgery better, might be able to tell whether their lymph nodes look like they're abnormal. So there's a lot of information that the surgeon can get from the breast MRI um, to help them tailor the surgery for that particular patient. So again, it's not it's not done for every patient. It's it's almost too sensitive. It picks up things that aren't cancer, so we really wouldn't want everyone to get an MRI. They, they, a lot of people will be getting unnecessary evaluations. It's also a fairly expensive test. It's not always covered by insurance. Um, some people are claustrophobic, so you know, you're in a tunnel sort of thing to get the MRI, so some patients might not be able to get one because of claustrophobia. They've had all the other things for MRIs that are you have to, have to be screened for, like uh, pacemakers or metal in the orbits and things like that. So uh, it's a great test, but it's a very specific sort of test. So again, not everyone would need to get one. And it's something that the radiologist can usually let the patient know whether it's uh, something they would advise or their, or their referring physician.